delegates from across Europe met in Brussels to learn more about financial instruments opportunities under the European Social Fund. ESF is uh, uh, focused on people, it's focused on the social issues, it is focused on the uh, social uh, entrepreneurship, on uh, microfinance, when we speak about uh, financial instruments, the, uh, let's say the use of, a, of the European Social Fund, it, it must be considered as a, a, a niche. It is a, a delivery option compared to the grants. It is an innovative way of spending the European Social Fund. If compared to, to other uh, European funds, we have a certain experience, uh, but not so extensive as in the uh, ERDF, for instance where the uh, financial instruments are perfectly targeting their thematic objectives. If, in a way, we, uh, we use the financial instruments where it is possible to do uh, under the ESF, we will achieve leverage uh, effect, we will involve the private sector um, in, the, uh, in the delivery of the funds, we release the national authorities from the co-financing, and last but not least, the financial instruments could bring the financial uh, discipline to the, uh, to, the, to the projects. During the seminar organized by Phi Compass on behalf of the European Commission and the European Investment Bank, the participants learned more about how financial instruments are used in different European member states, such as Portugal. I think that in the, especially in the case of social innovation and social entrepreneurship, there are plenty of offers from grants to awards to the start of the process to, to implement social, social innovation projects. But the problem is the second stage, when the money from the award or the grant has dried out, how can they expand and how can they consolidate some interesting projects that have emerged? And that's where the financial instruments enter into place, namely the, the social innovation fund that we are setting up. So it's a complement at the later stage of grants and awards to allow these projects to continue its path of growth and consolidation. So what we did was at the level of fund of funds, which is the top level of financial instruments, we mixed the, the public policy bodies, which act as intermediate bodies for the management authority of funds, with the manager of the fund of funds, which is usually a financial institution. We hope that at the end of this programming period, so in 2020, we won't be needing to use structural funds to do it anymore. The fund is self-sustained, sustainable, and it moves on from, from this starting point. So right now our goal is to set up something that is so robust that it can live beyond the, the structural funds cycle. I think that we, we managed to find a very interesting govern, governance model that combines both players, combines public policy bodies with uh, entities that are active or players in the field of, uh, of financial uh, sector as a financial intermediary. Other international organizations also came to share their experience of financial instruments and social innovation. Social impact investment is the provision of finance with the explicit expectation and measurement of a social as well as a financial return. We came out with a phase one report uh, last year um, and that report is really, it's called Building the Evidence Base, Social Impact Investment Building the Evidence Base. And the focus is really to help people understand what is social impact investment, how do you define it, what kind of data is available, what does it mean for different countries uh, in terms of public expenditure and social needs, what is the opportunity for government to play a role, or public and regional authorities. And so we're trying to help uh, people better understand the landscape and better understand the opportunity and where social impact investment can make a difference. For more information on financial instruments under the European Social Fund and the event in Brussels, please visit our website, phicompass.eu.